for a dollar, they tell me get him, I got him, got him. Damn, Carvana. Really? More stolen cars? Bending machines shut down? Not looking too good. Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we're going to talk a little bit about Carvana and specifically why we're talking about Carvana again. Well, they continue to make the news as the stories continue to get worse and worse. I actually got hit up. I literally got an email by somebody I guess that is investing or invested in the company and on no uncertain terms was I told that if the stock price is taking a hit because of my videos that they would hunt me down and find me yeah 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 yo hunt this down bro <laughs> no but but real talk though for, for those that are that are investors in carvana uh and you're mad because i'm shorting your stock and for those of you that want to deal with a company that's full of scumbags uh kiss my pasty white ass so we have more to talk about today uh but what, what i want to do is i'm going to get into some of the different um news articles and where this is happening because this is happening everywhere right somebody had hit reached out first and, and hit me up uh i'll probably like we'll we'll put it right here and that is an empty vending machine what does that mean well, I thought maybe they were just closed or, or maybe they just didn't have any units or anything. But no, the state of Indiana has shut them down from operating at that location. Why? Three instances of stolen vehicles in a month. It gets worse. We're going to talk about articles from KPRC in Houston where we've had somebody uh, looking or somebody waiting to get their tag for their vehicle for over 450 something days. Wow. Um, we have my dude NY Diesel in Florida commented about what his buddy's dealing with right now in Texas and Dallas. Um, and might be tied into those people that I, we have talked to from the Arlington, Texas Police Department, where they have two instances of stolen vehicles from Carvana. And um, I know Carvana is probably running ads on this video, which I appreciate it. I, that's $146 CPM. I'll consistently take that. Uh, you can continue to run ads on videos that roast you. I think that is absolutely hilarious. Let's talk about it, man. It's a serious, serious problem that Carvana keeps trying to push off on. It's, oh, it's because of the pandemic. The pandemic has caused me, caused us not to be able to keep up with this paperwork. No, that's bullshit. It's not the DMVs in the different state. If this was last year, like in 20, or even at the very beginning of 21, I might give you a pass on that and say that that could be what it is. But that's long done. That's long done. Let's go ahead and get into the article that I was telling you guys about here. So you guys can see just how bad it actually is. All right, guys. So we're going to get into this article here about what's going on with Carvana. And you can see it here. You can pause it, read it if you want. But basically, buyers in multiple states have been having issues. It hasn't just been Florida and North Carolina. Um, you can see here Dallas-Fort Worth reported in November that a dozen complaints have been filed against Texas alone. Um the outlet pointed to Carvana's quarter three letter to shareholders openly acknowledged the challenges the company faces and expanded during the pandemic. These issues were happening before the pandemic. So, and we're going to talk about an extreme case here in a minute, but their quote or their statement is our explosive growth in buying cars from customers over the last two quarters created significant operational constraints in our system. no, your operational constraints are you you try to process everything from a central hub and you don't have individuals that deal with your titles in those individual states. One, that's part of the problem. And two, that violates multiple statutes in multiple states. But I digress. Um, 
Buying more cars from customers leads to more last mile pickups, more customer care interactions, and more complex title processing requirements, which in turn leads to more complex registration. No, this is common sense. You pick up the car, you have a signed title, and in states where they have to be notarized, you need a notary present. You've picked up the vehicles. These things are notarized. They are signed. Process the paperwork with the DMV. You're being lazy. Um, our teams are responding by enhancing our systems and processes to adapt to this rapid change. Bullshit. So this one came out from KPRC Channel 2. Uh, it was a recent report where a 22-year-old daughter had been waiting uh, for 455 days. Now, this has got to be the most extreme friggin' case I've friggin' seen. 455 days? You have to be shitting me. And it's for a 2018 Hyundai Elantra she bought in August of 2020. We're about to be in 2022. August of 2020. We're well beyond a year. Car dealers in Texas are required to submit the registration paperwork within 30 to 45 days. Now, what it tells me is they bought a car from somebody. They probably didn't really pay it off. And Carvana doesn't want to eat it. And they've already turned around and sold it to this person. And they've been collecting payments from a bank or they've been getting paid by a bank for the car, this is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. Um, Peyton's mom, Jessica Boom, told the station they can't issue any more temporary tags. They can't. They can't tag it. What are we doing? Why aren't you fixing this? So, this is ridiculous. This is, this is, this is just ridiculous. But... You know, it's not just there. You're like, it's, we've had Florida and a couple other places. Now, that's absolutely ridiculous. It is. It's just absolutely positively ridiculous. But major shout out to the investigative reporters that are doing work down in Florida. Now, KPRC in Houston. Uh, forget the news channel that's working on the case in Indianapolis. You had uh, WRAL here in uh, North Carolina punishing Carvana. And it looks like, if it's true, and I, and I don't know if it is, I'm still trying to run that down, that there's going to be a big story coming out of Las Vegas in the next few days, and like people that work at the facility going to jail. Look, you know, I'm one for giving a company a pass if it's like a one-time thing, a two-time thing. We did a dedicated video about the gentleman in Arlington County, Virginia, who had an issue with his truck that was stolen. There, look, if you're intaking a vehicle, okay, and somebody's coming to the house to pick up a car, you check the VIN number and you run it against a stolen car database. It's as simple as going Google stolen car database and typing in a VIN number and seeing if it comes up stolen. It's not completely accurate, but usually if a vehicle has been stolen for a few days and it's in the database, it pops up, Okay. Anybody that buys used cars or does Facebook Marketplace with cars knows exactly what I'm talking about. There's no excuses for Carvana here. And I think the only way that something is going to change is if a state attorney in the state like maybe Ken Paxton in Texas goes F this and physically indicts the officers of the company uh, or the people that are physically in charge of taking in trades or buying vehicles. Unless that happens, they're going to continue to do this shit. They don't care. Carvana will just try to explain this shit away. They don't care. They don't. And one thing I can tell you is if you're investing any money into the company and you think the stock's up now, get out. Get out now. Sell. Because if you don't, Here's what I can tell you. As these stories continue to build up, and we have Autoblog did an article on them today. I know Motor Mo Motor uh, Motorious. I hope I'm saying that correct. Somebody reached out to email me about what I've talked about with it already. And I've got hit up by the reporter down in Florida. I got hit up by the reporter in Texas at Houston about what I've already talked about on it. And I've been hit up by a couple detectives, which I've told you guys before that I've been talking to and working with as far as uh, car theft stuff goes. And um, it don't look good for you, Carvana. This is why I said, I'm shorting your stock. I'm being totally upfront and telling you what my motivation is here. And I'm not just talking about this because I'm shorting the stock. Shorting the stock is a bonus because as Carvana 
begins to and continues to eat shit and falls on their face for just abysmal paperwork, you know, doing paperwork abysmally and usury and everything else by hitting people with these 20% interest rates on cars. You deserve to eat a dick. You deserve to fall on your face. And um, I have no sympathy for the company. So if you do invest in Car Runner, if you hold that stock, I'd sell it. I'm just saying. I'm Just my tip to you. I'm just telling you I'd sell it because it's going to go really bad, probably really fast. And the only thing I can tell you is this. I've even talked to two state representatives who uh, are introducing a bill. And I'm not going to talk about what state it is, but they are introducing a bill to try to get the other parties, because they, they're in opposite parties, the other parties who's the you know, uh, attorney general to basically be on the record for either you're going to prosecute car theft or you're not going to prosecute car theft. Figure it out. So it's not Texas, obviously. But it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. I hope they do. I hope they punish them for that. Because think about this. How would you feel if you're making payments on a car, you bought a car that you don't actually own? right? You've had a car for over a year. You've been making payments for over a year. Your bank supposedly is supposed to be involved and you've been making payments on this car and you have no paperwork to show that you own it. If something happens to it, you have no tag, you get into an accident, your insurance company is going to tell you to pound sand. I'm sorry, state reps and prosecutors and law enforcement agencies I'm talking to you too, you, you, the cops, okay? You law enforcement agencies that work in your auto theft divisions that keep reaching out to me about doing tutorials and methods and things of that nature um, or trying to get me to fly out and do classes and stuff for you guys on how these Mopars and stuff are getting stolen. Look, man, I appreciate y'all, but y'all got to get y'all shit together. With the, I know you're going to say it's a company. There's not much we can do. It's not a civil matter because that's... I had one detective try to tell me, you know, TK, this is a civil matter. No, it's it's not a civil matter. It's not a civil matter. Somebody is VIN swapping cars at Carvana, actively doing it. It's not a coincidence. And it's happening at multiple locations across the country to the point where I am comfortable calling Carvana a criminal enterprise. That's where I'm at. Maybe the feds will go after them. Who knows? Like I said, bad day for them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I wonder how many cups of coffee I can buy with all the money I'm going to make from shortening their stock. Mm.